Hello and welcome in this introductory lecture. It is the first one in my course about ANSYS CFD simulation. I am Saud Jadir, the technical manager of ANSYS Academy Iraq. Thank you for joining me. Let's begin. Our lecture theme is uh, about CFD science and also CFD approach. What is the procedure and the steps which each CFD simulation process go through and the most commonly CFD available softwares. Also, we will talk about ANSYS, what is used for and the ANSYS products for CFD and other projects for, uh, from ANSYS company. So that is our lecture theme and our course aims are to learn you how to fit the fluid dynamics and heat transfer phenomena and heat transfer physics together in a CFD simulations by using many tutorials that utilize Fluent, CFX, Workbench as general and the ANSYS discovery aim. I know it is a big aims, a big targets. If you support me by like this video and share it, uh, also by subscribe my channel, we can do all of these. Also, you will learn many of these tutorials are industry practices. So you will learn many of industry applications through these tutorials, which have many experimental data, and you will learn how to validate these tutorials and the other tutorials with empirical correlation and with the experimental available data for results. Now, what is CFD? CFD is a branch of fluid mechanics that treated with many numerical methods like finite element, finite volume, to obtain the variables of a fluid flow and any other correlated phenomena like heat and mass. So it is a produces a quantitative prediction for variables of a fluid flow phenomena like velocity, temperature, and density. All of these variables and many other can be obtained in the conservation equation or governing equation like continuity, momentum, energy equation, so that it is a general science to obtain a wide of benefit variables for the entire flow domain. For the CFD, there is a procedure to work. This is a procedure beginning with modeling the computational domain. By modeling the computational domain, the second step is to discretize th this domain to sub or subdivide it to um, many of smaller elements that we called control volumes or control masses. Then, the general transport equations or the governing equations we said before will be applied on each element in this domain. It will be applied on the boundary of these elements. Therefore, we will have for each element a set or a system of linear algebraic equation. As I said before, this, uh, this governing equation, continuity, momentum, energy, in this slide, it is shows for, co for Cartesian equations. There is another for polar and for cylindrical coordinates. However, by applying this governing equation on each element, we will obtain a set of linear algebraic equations. By solving this set uh, iteratively, then we can find the result. Results, as we know from a fluid mechanic textbook, it can be represented in many ways which is called under uh, the title of field representation. It is maybe by contour, or maybe by vector, or by streamline, path line, straight line. All of these kinds of views, you can find it uh, in ANSYS uh, poster processes. So that is a general look on CFD definition and CFD work. Let's go to CFD softwares. There are many of CFD softwares and all very used worldwide. But a due to technology evaluation website, which sorted these softwares by popularity. ANSYS is the most popular program, and that also what NASDAQ say. However, we are not interested about this, but if you are new in using ANSYS, this is something to be mentioned for you. Now, what ANSYS is used for in CFD simulation? It can be used as a problem solving tool if you don't have any solution for your engineering problem. Also, it can be used 
as a learning tool. Therefore, you can use it to understand fundamental. As shown here, the, in this very common example for mechanical engineers, you can study the relation between pressure and vorticity as an example. Now, maybe many engineers didn't know about tenses. So, if you ask, is it a new software? Absolutely not. It is founded by John Swanson in 1970 under the name of Swanson Analysis Systems. And since that time, it is widely used. Now, more than 2,000 universities work with this program. And maybe some of you uh, thinking or ask himself, what if I work to produce a program like ANSYS? So everybody can, but uh, you must know that ANSYS employ 4,000 professional engineers and recognized as one of the world's most innovative company. ANSYS have many analysis systems or products like 3D design, electromagnetics, CFD, and others as you can see. In each one of these products, there are numerous programs, much of programs. Just, you can't be an expert in all of these. So what I think that no one could say that he is an expert in ANSYS, but everyone can be expert in a specific field. Okay, this is the end of this introductory lecture. Thanks for your watching. If you are interested, I will let you now with a small section from an interview to Swanson, um, ANSYS founder. Thank you again for watching and wish you all the best. And um, well, how did you get the idea to start the ANSYS program? Well, the ANSYS program started uh, because I had a problem that I needed a solution. The problem was a simple stress concentration problem in a axisymmetric structure and there was no tools for doing that. So I developed a network of springs to simulate the stress concentration and I got what looked like plausible results. And so I showed them to our uh, government sponsors on the particular project and they said, hey, that looks like what Ed Wilson is doing out at the University of California. Why don't you go talk to him? And so I went to talk to Ed Wilson and he had written a axisymmetric finite element program. Um, and so I worked all evening and into the night writing up the coding for the punch cards for that particular problem. And at three o'clock in the morning, I found someone who could punch the cards, feed them into the computer. And by five o'clock, I had a really good looking solution. It was all numbers on paper. And by seven o'clock, I had a big box of cards under my arm and I was heading back toward the airport. And I, of course, rewrote the whole thing as was what I want. But that was my first interest in finite element analysis, was to solve that simple stress concentration problem. Now, as and I, which year was, you know, that? Which year was that? That would have been 1964, probably. That's been adopted, 64, maybe 65.